a third week at the top spot for Dizzy Rascal and Batman Dark Knight smashes box office records in the States. It could only be the Showbiz Hot Five. At five now, you've got to love Dizzy Rascal for two reasons. First, the fact his tune Dance With Me is actually pretty rocking. That's a nice combination between electronic pop and a bit of urban flavour. Secondly, for the fact he kept McFly from the number one spot. Brings a smile to my face. That's Dizzy Rascal's third week at the top slot. Long may it continue. Meanwhile, ABBA saw a load of singles re-enter the top 100 after the film Mamma Mia hit cinemas. At four, Johnny Rotten, a man not to be crossed. Now, the Sex Pistols frontman allegedly got involved in a bit of a ruckus with Foles at Benica Sim Festival in Spain. Now, the Oxford band Foles apparently nearly missed their headline slot at Latitude Festival back in the UK after their lead singer Yanis was arrested. And at three, whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, oh, living on a prayer. Take my hand and we'll make it, I swear. Whoa, oh, living on a prayer. Not a chapter from Shakespeare, oh no, but one of the world's other foremost poets, John Bon Jovi. Still rocking out that haircut. What a man, I hear you say. Anyway, John and his group Bon Jovi have kicked the Spice Girls into touch when it comes to touring. Now, the lads brought home £55 million from gigging compared to the ladies' £35 million. Swedish rock band Alphabet got offered to play with the Spice Girls in the UK, but they said no, and they're kind of feeling a bit smug about it. We're... What happened to the Spice Girls? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, we, no, we feel pretty good about that. They had a great first and second single. They, were, they did some really good stuff, but it's that was then and this is now. And at two, the Zootons stunned the crowd at T4 on the beach, but apparently for all the wrong reasons. Now, the Liverpudlian band were heckled as they mumbled their way through a performance at Western Supermare. Things went from bad to worse when they started throwing drumsticks into the audience. At one, described as the year's most anticipated film, Dark Knight has smashed box office records over in the States. The superhero sequel from English filmmaker Christopher Nolan attracted sellout audiences at a record number of cinemas across the US. Many hosted round the clock screenings from midnight on Thursday to accommodate crowds, some of whom dressed up as characters from the film. Now, Warner Brothers said the £180 million production, which co stars the late Heath Ledger as the Joker, was set to take £155.3 million in ticket sales, surpassing Sony's Spider Man 3 which made £151 million in its debut weekend last May. Uh.